I feel I know before MBTI is a methodology or like that goes for like all Jungian psychological models. They're just a way to tell the structure of someone's thought or lack of thought. <laughs> Dissing every feeling type. <laughs> Except maybe INFJs. Yeah. Hello there, not the best at it to be honest. Anyway, so I was explaining what the MBTI was. Oh god, and I'm hitting my mic. I'm assaulting my mic. Sorry for the bad noises. Although I don't care about your feelings. They're invalid. This is toxic. Um, MBTI is the way to tell how someone's thought structure works. It does not necessarily tell you the contents of their personality, although it definitely tells you what is possible to be there and what is impossible to be there. So for example, someone who's a TI dom might possibly like potatoes, but will definitely not like potatoes and dislike potatoes because that would be logically inconsistent. However, anything that is logically valid is possible and anything that is logically invalid is impossible. That's kind of a very simplified way to look at it. But knowing what is possible and what is not, we can also better uh, get statistics and information of how people are likely to be. So there we get into kind of stereotyping uh, the contents of personality types. And while those are much less factual than just the simple thing that it tells you, which is what is possible and what isn't, it is still to high statistical likelihoods in many cases, very true. You know, if you say that INTPs are procrastinators, I mean, that doesn't mean at all INTPs procrastinators, but I mean, the likelihood that you're gonna be right about an INTP being a procrastinator it's up there. That, that's why the stereotype exists, because there is some validity to that claim. Although they are not 100% stereotypes, are not 100% scientific. And so there is the problem of saturation, uh, saturation of truth and um, unclarities from types who do not care about clarities feeling types and once again all, all up your ass so yeah so do not overly rely on stereotypes or anything like that you can use models right to understand things but beyond a certain point the abstraction and the um, ignoring the detail can create outcomes which are completely reliant on the uncertainties and the untruth to uh, create fake facts, to create things which are not true simply out of the the overhead, the the uncertainty overhead. And so when when we're dealing with anything scientific, when it comes to modeling stuff, just make sure that your ideas, your conclusions that you're making out of scientific models come from the truth core and the things that we're definitely certain about the facts instead of the overhead of the science um because it's 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 like it's like making uh, uh, some food right i don't know cutting something up and then taking the trash out of it the things that you usually throw away and then providing it um as a a dish as itself as something to eat as itself right right so if, if we cut off enough food if we make enough food we're gonna have some leftovers and so what could happen in science sometimes is said leftover could be provided as food in itself that overhead that there's there's a certain percentage in every scientific model of just pure let's say bullshit right and so um just make sure that when you're th theorizing about stuff or just making hypotheticals about stuff, you're basing it off everything but the overhead. Because the overhead is something to be further studied. So we can have so some percentage of said overhead can become scientific in itself. Um, but basing your theories off the overhead is certainly gonna create fake realities with false certainties and i've really rambled on about this for too long honestly 
<laughs> this was not the point of the video. Although, although the point of the video was to show you what an INTP is like, and and I, f I feel like that ramble on is a pretty good one. But um, I have a few points. I've noted down a few points, uh, things that are often mentioned about INTPs. And on, as an INTP myself, I do want to uh, provide my experience for it. You know, in a way. Uh, and my English is not being exactly the best right now. Uh, including that statement in itself. <laughs> so, uh, if you talk about INTPs, one thing that definitely has to be a part of the conversation is our big brains. Our big brains can go inwardly into very deep, different dimensions. And so that's why we have such big brains. But in all truthness, the reason why we have such big brains is that we highly value consistency. Uh, we highly value logical consistency and that alone however would not mean that we would be the best because what it would mean for an INTP if all the INTP had was logical consistency it would mean that the INTP would be completely dependent on the initial conditions however we also highly value probabilities and likelihoods and other other methodologies and so that's why we keep improving over the years. We're always valuing our logical consistency and we're always valuing making sure that we have considered everything, regardless of how many things there are and how many things there will be. Or the opposite of that, completely in regard to how many things there will be and how many things there are. <laughs> so that's why we are the best when it comes to having big brains uh, we care about the lovely logical consistency and the uh, probability measurement probability value value and, and just taking in all the data you know just just having a great model a model which is built up to be very consistent and very uh, honest to its nature and also a model uh, for which takes and tries to account for all the variables. You have a very good model if you can have these two things in any model, honestly. However, we do sacrifice some things for that model. And I think even with, with our perfectionism, I think there are some things that um, for it, for to get ahead, something must be left behind. And I think uh, what, we're, what we as INTPs are leaving behind is, is an interesting conversation in itself. So. Um, one of the things that are often said about us is that we're procrastinators, we're lazy. I'd argue we're just energy efficient, honestly. Um, I'd, I'd say this point and the point after it, which is uh, um, about being uh, about analy analysis paralysis. I think these two, these two things are very much connected. Um, we care so much about the first two things, which are logical consistency and uh, probability measurement, that uh, we like thinking a lot. We, we really do like thinking a lot, you know? Um, and um, some people really like doing a lot, you know? And, you know, 100% of the time that you're spending doing that you're not spending 100% thinking is 100% of the time lost that you could be 100% thinking. And some idiot in the comment is gonna be like, oh, but you could do 50 thinking, 50 doing. Well, then that would be 100% of the time lost. Still, that you could, not 100% thinking. It would mean that it would take you Two, two times as much to come up with the same idea that you could have done in 50% less time. Do you see how crazy that it is, you know? And then there are people who like doing, you know? We can give them the great ideas and they will do it, you know? That's why you have different types. It just makes more sense. We have, we have to survive, you know? We, we really have to survive. I mean, every type is useful. That is... It, it, Discluding FI DOMs, why the fuck they exist? I'm still trying to figure it out. None of them can uh, give me a good reason. Some of them are like, the INFPs are like, oh, but do we can provide comfort for people. No, 
INFJs exist, ESFJs exist, ENFJs exist. God. <laughs> ISFJs exist. The INFPs provide nothing more. Like, like I, INFPs don't even fucking listen. How you you're just being there a fucking statue. Anyway, that that's a, that's a video on its own. So yes, well, because we are one hundred percent of the time thinking, that means that we're sacrificing doing. Maybe that's a way to look at it, but not really. I'd say we're delegating doing. Th that's that's what we're doing. We're delegating doing, and everyone is delegating a thing. And that's what we're delegating. We're delegating doing. But uh, doing is not the only thing that we're delegating. We're also delegating people. Look, we are delegating people for various reasons. Um, their inability to keep up. Um, often their own inhospitality and their lack of tolerance for intolerance i mean, I mean sometimes uh, we do actually leave you know but, but 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 it's mostly their problem not our problem i mean uh, that's a pretty toxic way to look at it if you ask me but <laughs> that that's that's our view you know here i'm uh it is their problem that they're sensitive you know, it's 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 their weakness. You know, it it is their weakness. Let's be honest about it, okay? Um, if, if we had no feeling types, like just eliminate all feelings types, then there would be no need for feeling types. Did you ever think about that? What the fuck do feeling types provide? Good vibes for everyone who cares about good vibes. Okay, so take out everyone who provides good vibes. Take out everyone who cares about good vibes. And boom, it's, it's it's as if nothing changed, but the world is better. I love how like it started with me hitting on FI doms. Now it's like, let's take half of the <laughs> personality types out. No, but but, but seriously, um, there there is very little use for feeling types for types who are not feeling in, in themselves. Um. But, but they're not completely useless, let's be honest. They're not entirely useless. The only types that are entirely useless are INFPs or on the ISFPs. Uh, I think I think there is, at least from a bit of primitive perspective of humanity, there, there's, there's maybe some need to FE DOMs, you know? Um, making sure that uh, someone in the tribe is alright. Um, maybe like an EST, ESTP who keeps just going and going and going and going and hunting and uh, since that person is looking where nobody else is looking at their emotional and physical state of being and they're like oh you're actually forgetting to take care of yourself you know and i think in that case feeling types specifically fe doms i'm still against fi doms in that case, in that very specific case, I think there is some argument to be made for feeling types. However, with that being said, I'm not sure what I wanted to say after that. <laughs> I'm really not sure what I, what I wanted to say after that. I, I have no idea what I wanted to say after that. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, uh, these were the two main points, kind of, kind of, yeah. Uh, it's it's very interesting. I need some time to think right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just shifting blame on other people being weak. You know, uh, us sacrificing our truth virtue. And us sacrificing our great ideas in order to fit in with your weakness. Uh, it, it just doesn't make sense, man. And the problem is that is that you don't care. You just don't care about it being making sense. 
and the world would still continue on without you. But but it wouldn't without us. You take all thinking types out, the world fails. It's, it's boom, done, literally gone, right? What 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 happens then? Boom, done. You take all the feeling types out, half of the world's problems are fixed, just like that. No, 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 nothing is to be missed. Very little is to be missed. Let's not be. Uh, um, dishonesty, but very little is to be missed out of feeling types. Uh, and if, if, however, there, there will still be one problem with our current uh, evolution, where our current build model as humans, which is we have chemicals in our brain which force us to want um, other people. We want, uh, we want a sense of being, a sense of group, uh, a sense of collective in a way sense of a family if however that, that can be provided by other thinking types like intp entj for example interesting combo however feeling types tend to provide the best for sets requirements you know they they tend to do and uh, also feeling types tend to um fill in roles which were useful before but i think the argument for such said rule like a role like for example a housewife uh, are, are fading very much away with the industry and the further industrialization of our world and uh the growth of ai and the growth of robot usage overall however um they're not entirely useless unless they're fi doms and i've and i have really talked about this point to me the, too much. So yeah, yeah, my my final argument is that you're wrong. We're not wrong. We're INTPs. It is impossible for us to be wrong. Another thing that I don't feel like enough people mention about us, you know, and, and it, it is kind of fair to some extent. Um, we're very open. We're very honest, and we're very open to various individuals. I'm not gonna here go with the stereotype that we do. Yeah, only a few people, I'd say it depends on the on the environment that the INTP really finds himself or herself in. Um, and we're very much in our in our heads, I feel like they're just kind of, that's kind of like point one. <laughs> we're very much in our heads. Like I am right now. We tend to look where nobody is, where nobody else is. And uh, well, you you you're at, you might question now. Well, what is the point of having two INTPs? Well, I guess my answer to that is that the initial conditions and the axioms of said INTP plus the experience plus the exact knowledge will give you different outputs. Will give you different results. And so that's why INTP diversity still matters. It's not like feeling types where, oh, I just remembered what I wanted to say about feeling types earlier. Yeah, yeah, but, but feeling types are better to be something to be appreciated, something rare, something that people want to have in their life, uh, something which is very much the minority. However, now they're the majority, and that's just a mistake. That's, that's a very big, big mistake. That's just, that's just wrong. And just... Uh, there is no point there is a point in one person looking after you maybe two a max there's no point in five six seven i skipped three and four because i'm racist against these numbers but but there's no point in more than one or two people looking after you and now there's way too many of them it's ridiculous it's really ridiculous Absolutely. Feeling types should make up like 10, maybe 20% of the population. Not anymore. They should subjugate to our rational viewpoints of the world. Not some inaccurate imaginary fairy tales that they make up in their own heads about their own ethics and their own emotions and all of these imaginary fairy tales that's not the way the world would be best run it would be best run 
by logicians, uh, by, by people who care about truth, logic, and also by people who care about experience and hard work. Uh, see, see there's, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, possibly uh, important outcomes that can come from said both leading types and even the combination of said both types. However, the only need for individuals who care about feelings that would only come from a population which cares about feelings. Like I said earlier, the only benefit of feeling types is for other feeling types, mostly. And it's ridiculous. And if you take out half of all feeling types, then the world becomes a much better place. It would eliminate the need for irrational leaders and uh, um, any leader who will be a leader will have to follow rational people, not irrational people who care about imaginary stuff. But if you cannot argue for your ideas out of, oh, uh, because I said so, well, your ideas are worth as much as any other idea. And you know what we call that? Worthless. Yes, your emotions are worthless. Uh, no SE. I, th I think I think the energy efficient point answers the no SE. We're just we're just we're just specialists when it comes to uh, thinking, and that's why we have to leave behind actually doing the stuff that we're thinking about. We're very open, so we'll share our ideas with you, so you can go ahead and do it. Um. But uh, we will not sacrifice our thinking in the name of uh, actually doing it. At least not very likely. And uh, one other problem that comes with us having to live with feeling types. Feeling types, uh, we're, we're, very, we're, very, we're very generous people, honestly, when it comes to sharing our brain with other people. And so, so when feeling types come to us and ask for help, ask for salvation, we give them the way to solve their problems but then we discover something very quickly they don't care about truth they don't care about logical consistency they just care about feeling something even if that feeling is a bad feeling and when when you give them a solution which ends their narrative instead of um, perpetuating their narrative then you're just well, you've just ended their whole world, their whole fairy tale. How dare you actually give me a solution to said problem? Well, no, I don't have anything. Because, because, well, my problem is gone. What am I supposed to feel? How, how about you stop feeling? <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> the world is run under fairy tale narratives. It shouldn't be run under fairy tale narratives. Because fairy tale narratives are imaginary and their emotions and emotions are inconsistent. And so if we were to assume that emotions were were to be valid, you know, this is proof by contradiction. If emotions were to be valid, claims of em emotional claims were to be valid, then they would be invalid simply because emotions are inconsistent and they're un uh, illogical. And so emotions it never could be valid. Im never. Just simply not. And, and so what you get out of that is an invalid world. It's a very broken world, a very lost world. That's, that's what you get out of the, uh, emotional leadership and just uh, any kind of emotional influence over the world that, is, that, that, go, that goes beyond 20%, I'd say. It's, it's a completely arbitrary number, but what I mean by it is just like an insignificant amount, you know? I, that's what I mean about it, by, by it, you know, and, 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 and the outcomes of emotional leadership is not something that is appreciated by anyone. Absolutely not. Not in any way. But not in the short term, not in the long term. And, and, and so if we look at all 
measurements, all ways to measure outcomes and opinions and even feelings. Feelings seem to be the ultimate evil. So you thinking you're the hero or whatever the fuck. No, you're the ultimate villain. If heroes never existed, villains never would. Have you ever thought about that? Crazy, isn't it? Oh, it's, just, it's a really crazy thought, isn't it? <laughs> if you want to end villains, just kill all heroes. You can't be a villain if there isn't a hero. There can't be good without bad. But what that means is that there would be any there would not be any meaning but those people they live of meaning they cannot live without meaning they cannot li accept life as it is they only accept life as they th feel it is as they imagine it for us being cold and for us INTPs to be cold uh living in our heads well, look at feeling types. At least we're considering real variables. Look at feeling types. They're considering imaginary variables which do not represent reality in any way, shape or form. And uh, they're living off said variables. And then they get angry. Whenever you take those variables out, because you end the story. They get angry when... The imaginary variables do not give real, concrete, real-world, tangible outcomes. Um, and uh, I guess another point about INTPs is that we're simultaneously si silent and simultaneously won't shut the fuck up. Well, I think there's some truth to this claim. You know, if some mofo is talking about something stupid like... Ooh, emotions. You know, we don't have anything to provide for that conversation because simply, it isn't a lack of on our side. It's simply that there is nothing to be provided for that conversation. It is a net negative conversation. You're taking life. You're taking your real tangible life to spend it on imaginary stories. Are you crazy? We're not going to participate in that. But you start talking about something that matters like the latest innovation in regards to neural cognitive therapy well now we're talking talk to me tell me I'm, I'm hearing you let me see what kind of creative ideas i can give what kind of what kind of input can i give into this actually and, and, and into this conversation into this tangibly or Abs or abstractly which will eventually be tangibly beneficial something which at least possibly is beneficial i mean we intps have a lot of theories and a lot of them um, a lot of the time don't necessarily um provide anything for the world not necessarily at least within the few first hundred years you know you have a lot of intp mathematicians who had a lot of great theories which meant absolutely nothing at their time come a few hundred years oh See this INTP? He actually had a point. He was just ahead of his time, you know? And so... And, and sometimes... They never... They never do, you know? Or maybe they still just haven't. Maybe they're, Maybe every idea said by an INTP documented is just waiting to be used one day. That is also a possibility. But... Uh, telling imaginary story That will never be useful. Absolutely not. Just simply not. It does not have... There, there's a point in criticizing, there's somewhat of a point in criticizing INTPs for not giving immediately tangible benefits, but it is incomparable to th uh, providing the world with simply things which don't even have the slight possibility of benefiting it. And uh, I'd, 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 I'd say that covers the INTP mind pretty nicely. I do not, like I said, it's the, the MBTI model and the young psychology, psychological model just simply uh, gives this thought structure for someone. So, so while all INTPs will most definitely agree with 
um, the meta reasoning and my thought, my thought w- wave of how I came to my conclusion, that does not necessarily mean 100% of all INTPs will agree with the content of what I said. So yeah, this video is really long. God, it's it's 990 seconds at 130 BPM. Damn, son. <laughs> I will not be cutting the audio. You guys have fun with this video. Uh, did anybody watch this? Like throughout everything? That'd be impressive. Damn. You know what? I'm just going to keep talking until it's 1000 because I've never seen this boy cross 1000. You know, we're just like three seconds away from 1000. So let's see. How does 1000 look? Boom. Oh, it just says 100. That's, a, that's embarrassing. Or do I need to... It says 100. That's embarrassing. <laughs>